Why does she keep waving at him? What is happening? Oh my gosh, is this cute or what? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. Before we start, I didn't show you guys in the last episode, but I got this new lamp and look how cute it is. It's a dumpling and it's like squishy too. And like when you like, you can turn it off and it's like this little dumpling thing. And it like actually has a lot of light because the lamp behind me was annoying me in my video. So I was like, that doesn't look right. So I like got this and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. I'll put the link to where I got that in the description below if you are interested, but it's just something cute that I wanted to show you. You guys are probably gonna see that behind me for most of my videos. But anyway, back to the video. So in the last episode of the Royal Family, it was Prince Kellen's birthday and we didn't really have a real birthday party for him. We just invited the family over so he had his aunts and cousins and all of them come over for his birthday and we actually thought Princess Amira was not going to come at all for his birthday party because she was gone for so long she's been gone for over a month and she ended up coming for his birthday like at the very last minute just to be there for her brother so she's home now and we're so happy because it's been so long she's been away for so long and then also in the last episode it was Princess Leilana she invited over Earl Dean to meet her parents because they were kind of having a little bit of a romantic thing and Earl Dean got to talk to her parents and they loved him a lot especially her father King Mahaka so since things went so well she asked him to be her boyfriend so that all happened in the last episode in this episode I want to focus on the toddlers the royal toddlers we're gonna have a little toddler play date because I have the toddler stuff back and I never used it so I wanted to use that and so we can focus on the kids a little bit too and then also in this episode Queen Nea is going to turn into a young adult so I'm so so excited for that guy so if you're looking forward to this episode give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already and let's go ahead and play the royal family Okay, so we're back at the royal family of Windenburg. And I know in the last episode, I was mentioning to you guys that I wanted to replace our palace. I have not, I'm filming this video directly after that one, so I have not seen any comments yet. So I don't know, I'll, I'll talk about it when I see your guys' comments because I would be interested to do that. It's, it's really a beautiful palace. It just, it's so much of a square. I think I just need to like widen it a little bit and just add a little bit more like layers and depth, like maybe some of the sides like coming out a little bit more, something like that. I'm not a builder at all. Like building is probably the thing that I'm least talented at in The Sims. So I just, I don't know. I'm very impressed by people who can build. So anyway, just wanted to go over that. Um, I did want to go over the comments from not the last episode, but the one before that, because I was supposed to do that in the last video and I didn't actually end up getting the chance to. Also guys, like I was just like trying to go through some of my old videos to figure out like how, like, like the age like who is older with like this like the, oh the chronological birthdays i don't know what the word is but who who's older like which of the royal kids are older so i knew like what order to put their birthdays in and i was like looking at old videos and just like cringing so hard and i was like oh my gosh like i'm just i'm so awkward in some of them and like the quality's not very good in some of them and i was like ah so i like i look back at the very first video i kind of want to do like a remake or like another meet the royals for like people who are coming into this like mid season mid series or something like that um and hopefully one that's less awkward because that video is my most popular video on my channel my very first episode of the royal family and i just cringe watching it every time i watch it so i know i can do something better so I, that might be happening at some point i'll probably wait until all the kids kind of get married and start having their own kids before i do that but yeah just so you know that's coming um so in the last episode so i did not get a chance to talk about my comments from last time so i did get a lot of comments in the last video guys so um some people were saying that like princess amira and with Johan, I think that uh, King Henry is about to, actually, yeah, I think he's gonna do that. I think he needs to have that talk with Princess Amira and she's still very, very sad guys, like so, so sad. So he needs to talk to her. Maybe you should like just ask her about her day first. But basically I think he just wants to have the talk of like, now that things have kind of died down, Princess May and like they're starting to get over things. Like she's still really sad though. I think he was waiting for her to feel better, but it's taking a really long time. And she's a young adult and Johan has been a young adult for a while. So he has to tell her like, you know of the agreement and now that princess may is or the, now that may is gone like we still have to honor your grandfather's agreement with 
King Jared. I feel like he would offer, though, like, if you really don't feel comfortable with this. Like, I feel like he, he loves his daughter, and he's very a traditional, like, old-fashioned king, for sure. But I feel like he is... Oh, I'm trying to, like, ask for a foot massage. I don't want to do that. Um, try... Oh, calm emotions. There you go. Okay, so try to calm her emotions a little bit. Uh, although that doesn't look like it's working very well, to be honest. And then Princess Diana's just, like, running through, like, oh, okay, they're yelling. I'm gonna run away. Um, um, so I feel like he's would offer to her like if you really don't feel comfortable with this because of May. Actually, Johan hasn't even told Amira yet about like his relationship with May. And although Amira kind of knew about it, but no one's ever admitted it to her. But um, I feel like King Henry would offer like if you really don't feel comfortable doing this. Like, we don't have to honor your grandfather's agreement. Like, I might, I can figure out a way to get out of it. I feel like Amira is, I, I strongly, be, I feel like they strongly believe that her grandfather's ghost is going to, like, haunt them if they don't honor this agreement. So, I think that she's like, no, this is what grandfather, like, what he wanted. This is what they promised. Like, this was, like, a binding agreement that they, like, signed. So, I think that like we have to honor this and I feel like and someone that's what someone made in the comments was kind of like I feel like Amira and Johan would like just have like have a kid like they would just try for a baby but they wouldn't like woohoo any more than that um just just for like the heir of the Brindleton Bay throne um uh, someone also said that they should name their first daughter Alice May I love that idea I did promise one of the viewers though a while ago that Princess Amira's first daughter would be Amber that's also before all this happened so Sophia if you are okay with me naming them Alice May naming her first daughter Alice May I think I'm sure they'll try to have more than one kid because of just like like you you need more than one just in case like something happens to the first one you don't want anything to happen so you just want like the security of one of your children kind of becoming the heir to the throne so if you're okay with me doing that and then maybe naming another one amber or maybe just making like her name alice may amber or something like that let me know in the comments sophia because i promised her so long ago and i felt really bad if i if i don't do that so i just wanted to say that but i mean then again also maybe kellen would name his his daughter, Alice May. So that's another thing. So just wanted to say that. Another of the, like, some of the other comments also is, was that, like, maybe Princess Amira is going to wear black for the rest of her life. Actually, Kellen's not wearing black right now, which is interesting. He has, like, a lot of the, the black outfits. He's been a lot happier, and I think, honestly, he's just really happy that Amira's back. Because I feel like he was, like, obviously really sad about May, but, like, also really sad that Amira had left. So I think Kellen is doing a little bit better. He does have the gloomy trait, though, so I think he's going to go in and out of of, of sort of like a very sad mood. So that's just another thing too. Oh yeah, but people were saying maybe Amira's gonna wear black for the rest of her life. Just like, who was the other queen that did that? It says Queen Victoria when Prince Albert died. That's what she did apparently. She wore black for the rest of her life. Someone was saying like how tragic King Henry's life has been because his like childhood sweetheart and wife passed away and then his daughter passed away. Nothing is as tragic though as King Edmund because he lost both of his parents and his sister within like 24 hours of each other. So nothing is as tragic as as King Edmund, for sure. At least, I hope nothing else will be as tragic as him. Someone was saying maybe the R Windenburg royal family has a curse where that every few babies of the royals on the baby's birthday, like, someone dies, which would be so interesting if this family was cursed. Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. And I think I got, I think that was it for the most part, but I just wanted to go over most of that. If I miss anything, I'm so sorry, but if, I will try to go through again later, um, because I have, there's a lot I want to do in this episode too, so I want to make sure I get to that. Oh, oh, okay, and then, yeah, so the crypt thing, sorry, I still have not moved this yet. I just haven't, but I will, I will work on that too. Because it's kind of still in the way of their thrones, which is very, very odd. So I do need to change that. Like I mentioned in the last episode, I'm working on doing a crypt, but like I was debating replacing this castle. So I don't want to do a crypt and then end up replacing the castle. Also guys, okay, so Prince Kellen, his relationship with Princess Meghan has been gone down a lot. I'm wor- I feel like though- okay, so Princess Meghan has also lost her father, King Adrian, before though. Although they weren't very close with their father, I feel like they kind of knew that their father had a bad reputation too. But like she still lost someone, like a loved one, so I feel like she should just be like- like, look, Kellen, like, I know you're, like, going through stuff, and, like, if you don't want to talk, that's fine, too, but, like, just understand that, like, I, like, I lost my dad, too, like, I kind of, I know what you're going through, so 
I feel like she should be like more pushy about that, but I don't know if Princess Megan is like that type of person. Also, their their like their relationship isn't really an arranged marriage. Obviously, like I feel like he like King Henry would want Kellen to marry a princess, especially if he's going to be the heir to the throne. Or yeah, especially if he is the heir to the throne. And I feel like with Kellen. I don't know, it doesn't seem like him and Princess Megan are getting along very well, but they've been dating for so long. Like, this is the only girl that he's ever dated. We'll just have to see how this goes. I've been debating maybe having him take, like, tell, like, break up with her maybe, and then, like, it, like, maybe get back together later, like, when he starts getting over things. Although he is starting to get over things a little bit more. He's not wearing black anymore. Although, I feel like he still, still would wear black, so I think I'm actually gonna change that, so change outfit. Yeah, just because I feel like he would still be wearing black, so... I'm just gonna change that for now, but let me know what you guys think if you think he should stay with Princess Megan or not. So it is almost 6 a.m., but it's almost the time, or like it's a good amount of time, or it's a good time to schedule our toddler play date. So we want to do a toddler play date. I do wanna do a gold event because I wanna, like, I don't know how this works because I wanna figure it out. So uh, King Henry and Queen Ava, they're going to be the hosts. And then these, we have a toddler host. That's really cute too, a host toddler. Okay, so I was planning on doing this with Lord of J, but why don't we do this with Lord Maxwell too? Those, no, those aren't the only toddlers. Those just must be the only toddlers he knows. Lord Maxwell is Queen Evangeline's nephew. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay, so that's her nephew. So yeah, that works perfectly. Okay, so we're going to do this. I want to do this actually at... There's this children's tutor treehouse, which I don't remember ever downloading, but apparently I have it, and it, I think it'd be really good for a toddler play date, so we're gonna go there. Okay, it is very, very, very dark, um, but that's okay. It looks like Queen Lindsay's here, so we should probably go talk to her. Honestly, Queen Lindsay's a little bit scary. I mean, I don't know if everybody knows that, but like, you guys saw it because you guys saw her be a little bit scary to Lady Harmony, which was one of King Adrian's mistresses. So actually we can also, I can show you guys them real quick too. Hopefully I'll remember it. Let me write that down. Um, because I think that Charlotte, her daughter is now a child. So you guys can definitely see her too. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and see these little toddlers. Oh my gosh. Ah, they're cute. Okay, share the love. We're we gotta, they don't really know them yet. So we gotta them talk to stranger. So guys, okay, so here's the thing. Lorda J is a bastard. Um, his parents had him when they were teenagers, which was the weirdest thing because I did not make that happen. I don't have any teenage pregnancy mod. I didn't never made them woohoo. So it's, it's just the weirdest thing. So to try to cover, th oh guys, this is so cute. Um, but try to try to cover the scandal, the royal family of Oasis Springs, they moved in Lorda J and Lady Helena, which was Lord J's mother. Um, they moved them into the Oasis Springs palace and they made Prince Michael and Lady Helena, they, they like, they're making them go get married as soon as they turn into young adults. So that's the thing with that. So technically, since Lorda J is a bastard, I don't know what that does to his reputation. Like, I feel like that does lower his reputation a lot. And I don't know, cause someone did say that like Lorda J and Princess Diana would be really cute together. Or I mean, honestly, even um, Princess Bellatrix, they would all be cute together. But, and I thought that was a good idea too, cause they're the same age and they're really cute and they're both like royals. But the fact of his like reputation, I don't know if King Henry's going to want that for his daughters. So let me know what you guys think about that because I would be very interested to hear about that. Okay, so main goal, host socialize with guests. That's it. Are you serious, Sims? This is seriously your thing for a toddler play date? Are you kidding me? It should be like have toddlers like play in the, like play with things. That's, that's a little disappointing. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna have King Henry repair this though. Hopefully this will be okay. I know there's a lot more. Oh, you know what? There's a lot more items for toddlers too. Okay, so I have added lots of things from the toddler pack. So I added this jungle gym. So I guess the kids just go on there themselves. So I'm just gonna have all of them go here and then I also, I, I downloaded that, or not downloaded, I placed that ball pit that I've heard awful things about. So I, I remember seeing this when I was like deciding if I should get the pack. Oh, it's down here. Um, and just like the graphics on this is really, it's not, it's not great at all. So I, I just heard a lot about this, but I, I just, I figured we might as well download it because obviously it's part of the pack. And then we have this like slide thing too, which is really cute. And then we have like this little, this little tree house too. So it's like a tree house at a tree house because this is a tree house. And then I'm going, to have Queen Evangeline. I, okay, she does know Lorda J. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, so yeah, we're having our little toddler play date. I mean, obviously not much
knowledge here. This is her nephew though, Lord Maxwell. So he's really, really cute. And I'm going to have her hug him lovingly. Um, although he's very angry right now. So that's not a good thing. Um, and then can the adults like play with them on this thing? Or it doesn't look like they can. Oh guys, this is, this is adorable. Oh my gosh. Is this cute or what? Oh my, it's a little dark, but oh, and then look at Princess Diana too. Oh, all the royal kids are in the treehouse at once. This is adorable. So, I mean, <laughs> this is kind of kind of it. I mean, they've met the the toddlers now too. Where did Lord J and Lord Maxwell go too? Because that's kind of the point is we wanted to hang out with them. So we have Lord Maxwell. So I'm going to have, oh wait, wait, can can you not just talk to him? Oh, what the heck? Toddlers have barely inter any interactions with each other and you can't invite another toddler to like play with you or anything like that either. So that's not, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, I think you, okay. So it looks like you have to be on like a certain level of uh, like, like friendship with them in order to have more interactions with them. But it'd be nice if you, I guess toddlers can't do like a friendly interaction or anything like that. So that kind of makes sense, but still that'd be more fun. Oh, and Queen Nina, oh, Queen Nina is here guys. Oh, I feel like King Henry should definitely talk to her and kind of just mention like, yeah, he should tell her. Cause I don't think they know yet that Princess Amir is back. Only like their immediate family kind of knew about it and like her aunts and uncles. But I feel like he's telling her now that like Princess Amira came back and I know that Johan wanted to talk to her. So like you can let him know that he, oh, and then <gasps> King Jared is here too. Oh, you should tell King Jared that she's back too. Oh yeah, cause King Jared wanted to apologize to her whenever she came back. So he has to he has to go tell her that. And then I'm probably gonna have them apologize to her and have Johan talk to her in the next episode. It does not look like uh, Prince Johan is out and about at all. I think he's still really depressed. Oh, this is Lady Kayla guys. So this right here is Lady Malaya, which Lady Malaya, Malaya is Princess Anna's husband, Lord Marshall's sister. So this is Princess Anna's niece, uh, Lady Kayla. So she aged up into a teenager and then also her twin sister aged up into a teenager too. So just a little update on some of the nobles. Okay, so we've reached a gold event for our little play date, even though we really didn't get to hang out much with the toddlers or anything. Anyway, I'm gonna end this because we have a gold play date. So we got a gold medal for that. So that was just our little toddler play date. So we got to pay attention a little bit to them. So now we're going to go into Manage Worlds and we're going to go to the Royal Family of Oasis Springs and we're going to have our birthday party for Queen Nea. And I'm so excited. This is going to be a huge thing too because it's like the Queen's birthday. So it's going to feel like, I feel like like this huge, huge birthday party. I'm going to invite like everyone. This is going to be a huge deal and I'm so excited. So I actually also did a lot of renovations to Oasis Springs because I did, I, I know I was like, debating like I don't know this is more like Indian inspired rather than like Middle Eastern inspired although I still have like a lot of these Spanish looking households I I don't know I I looked up some like Indian households in the gallery too some of them kind of looked like this so I don't know if that's like a kind of the style for things um and then I have all these like like these two neighborhoods that I'm not using at all just more for like peasants to live in so that's another thing um but yeah I so I got this like lounge and then we have like this restaurant and then a bar and then this spa too and then I did the part I'm probably gonna rename this um to like actually it doesn't need to be named Indian temple I can name it something else um so I named or not named I placed this like a temple here and it's gorgeous and I don't know I feel like it'd be a really great place for Queen Nea to get married whenever she does so yeah I was debating maybe replacing their palace too I don't know I like it a lot it's just the outside I don't love so so much so I was thinking about that also but the inside of it's really cool too so that's the thing about these palaces I like love the inside the outside could use a little bit of work but i just wanted to show you guys that too so we're going to go to the eastern palace uh the royal family of oasis springs and we're going to have her birthday party i'm so so excited okay so we are at the royal family of oasis springs palace so i'm going to have Queen Nea, I'm just gonna have her plan her own birthday party. Um, I don't, th I don't think she knows as many people as she should, but hopefully she can invite like really anybody. So we are going to have her do a birthday part. Where, where's the birthday? Okay, birthday party. I'm not gonna make it a gold event, and then I'm literally going to invite everyone. So I don't want you guys to have to see this. So we're just gonna skip through this. Okay, so we have invited everyone. Also, guys, I did get some more custom content. So I got more Indian inspired custom content. So I thought this 
headdress was really, really beautiful. Like guys, honestly, she looks amazing and I love this a lot. I'm so, so excited for her birthday and for her to become a young adult. Okay, so I do want, I'm gonna have Queen Lindsay bake her birthday cake. I downloaded, I thought, like some like cake recipe mods where you could bake other types of cake but apparently, uh, the, apparently it doesn't work or I didn't do it or something. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I didn't, it didn't end up happening. So I'm, I'm just gonna do a winter cake just cause it looks a little bit different and like a little bit kind of fancy. So we'll do that for her birthday cake. And then I do need to watch that. So I will definitely need to remember just to check on her cooking. Although it does look like she's sick, which is not a good thing. Cause we don't want her to get other people sick, but hopefully it's okay. Um, okay, so we do have like Princess Megan here, of course, like all of, all of Queen Nea's siblings. I'm so, so excited for this, you guys. I am going to have her too. I think Lord of J should be aging up into a child soon. He look, oh, it looks like he's a little bit angry, but he still, oh, he has two days to age up. So he's going to be aging up into a child very, very soon, but he's angry right now. That's not a good thing. She does not want her nephew like ruining things. Um, and then, okay. So Prince Michael's relationship with Lady Helena is a romantic relationship. I don't know. I have not focused on them much. Is this Lady Helena right here? Uh, that is Marquis Anna. That is not Lady Helena, um, but I can show you guys from here. So with Prince Michael, yeah, the romantic relationship is not a thing. They're not even like dating. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend. So they just like know that they like, I feel like the situation that happened to them was not the best thing in the world. It was kind of pushed on them. So it didn't do very well for their relationship at all. But anyway, so, um, okay. So we have here, so we have Princess Belle. It looks like Princess Belle is wearing her black still. And then we have Lady Christina, which was Lady Kayla, Kayla's, I think, um, the Lady Kayla Kayla's twin sister. So this is Lady Christina. So I'm going to have everyone. We definitely need Queen Nea to kind of thank everyone for coming. And okay, is that still a thing? Can you still thank them for coming? Yes, you can. Okay. So thank her for coming. And then we're going to thank Lady Lord Jaden for coming. And basically she's just going to kind of like greet everyone. And then I do need to check on this birthday cake to make sure it's okay. And that, okay. Yeah. She still hasn't baked it yet. And then I just saw, I saw her boyfriend too. Where did he go? Oh, and then we have Lady Katarina, which is is Lady Helena's twin sister. She's here too, guys. <gasps> Yay, okay, oh, ask her about her love life. She's feeling flirty. She's like, so what's new? Um, so yeah, this is Lady Kayla, which is Lady Malaya's daughter and her twin sister, Lady Christina. So that's her daughter. So I had not shown you guys that yet. Oh, and then, oh, Queen Nea was playing with her nephew, Lord of J. So it looks like he's feeling much, much better. And then we have Marchidas Anna here too. So I kind of just need to like have her talk to everybody. Um, I don't think Princess Amira came. I think Princess Amira is still in mourning and she's not up to kind of of like go wait where's it wait what the heck where is everybody going guys i don't understand why everyone just walked over here what was the point of this okay and now at least they're walking back though okay that was really really weird okay anyway um so yeah princess amira is not here she's still in mourning so she did not show up i'm pretty sure prince johan did not come to so they're all still in mourning. Um, oh, oh, oh gosh, the birthday cake. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, guys, no. Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, well, we need to make another cake and I do need to keep my eye on this cake too. Oh guys, Lord Ian's here too. And so is Prince, uh, wait, where, yep. So is Prince James. So if you guys don't remember, Prince James and Lord Ian kind of had a bit of a thing um, several episodes ago. I have not paid much attention to them. So I feel like they've still kind of kept the relationship secret. So I do want to focus on them in a few episodes or so. Um, but yeah, so they're they're here too. I like totally didn't realize that at all, but it looks like people are all eating. Oh no, and then the birthday cake, the birthday cake. Wait, 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 please don't have anyone take a slice of this yet. Okay, good. Oh, we're good. Okay, so add birthday candles now before anyone takes anything. Okay, so we have our birthday cake now. So I am going to, let's just place it like right here. Can she blow out the candles from here? I'm pretty sure she can. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have Queen Nea blow out the birthday candle. So uh, Earl Philip, her boyfriend is actually already a young, a young adult. I didn't even realize he had turned into a young adult. So, oh, and she just became good friends with her sister, Princess Megan, so that's good. So we're going to have her blow out the candles and Queen Nea is going to turn into a young adult. So I'm 
so, so excited. You, oh, guys, she looks beautiful. I don't think I'm going to change any of her outfits when she turns into a young adult because I am so in love with them. They look amazing, you guys. Okay, so Queen Nea is now blowing out the birthday candle. She turned into a young adult, you guys. <gasps> yeah, oh, okay, I have to pick two things for her. Okay, so Queen Nea, I feel like, has always been... I know, I'm pretty sure she got the good manners trait, so she's really, really sweet and polite. Um, And she, I mean, she's gotten... Like, she's self-assured because she's been like a queen since she was young and I feel like that has like it just had just I don't know I feel like that has had like obviously a big impact on her personality and like she's learned to be like confident and mature at like such a young age I kind of feel like she would get the bossy trait just because she's the oldest of four and obviously she's like learned all these leadership skills too from her mother so i mean being bossy is not a bad thing i feel like girls like feel like women in general get like a bossy sort of like i don't know i feel like i've never called a guy bossy before i feel like only really females get called bossy um but i feel like guys can also be called bossy bossy but to me it's just like leadership skills like she's good at managing people she's good at telling them what to do so we're gonna go with that but it does not have a bad uh like impact on it it's a good thing that she's bossy so especially since she's getting this as an adult like for a child like a child it might be a bad thing if a child was bossy because other children wouldn't love that but i feel like for her it's different so she's self-assured she's bossy i'm kind of debating should i give her the ambitious tray or should i give her something else okay what was her aspiration a renaissance sim she wants to be good at many things so maybe she's a perfectionist or yeah or like a bookworm too or maybe she's an art lover i want to give her like one of these i know she's very very smart uh maybe she is a bookworm maybe she just like loves to read which makes her like super intelligent so or or perfection oh, let's go with bookworm because i don't think i've had a lot of people be a bookworm so we're gonna have queen Nea be a bookworm and be bossy but like just basically good leadership skills because she's gonna be a great great queen i'm so excited so she needs to definitely talk to like all the other sims here too because oh Oh, and then, wait, 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 Lady Corinne, what are you wearing? You need to change. Okay, I just changed her outfit because I did not want her to wear those, like, athletic outfits. So, guys, I'm just gonna have her kind of, like, talk to people because she doesn't know these people very well. So, oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, no, hold on. That's Prince Francisco. Prince Francisco is next to age up. He'll probably age up in the next episode. I don't know if I'm gonna do, like, a fallout birthday party for them. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe just, like, something small. Um, but he will be aging up into a young adult pretty soon. So, I'm excited for that. And we have, like, Lord Jaden here too so kind of just getting her to talk to everybody um and then I did not put this on the caterer but it looks like he has one of like my Indian like custom content which looks very weird with the outfit he's wearing right now but that's fine um okay so then we have like Lady Helena do they know her sister very well Lady Katarina because I feel like they should probably get to know her a little bit better also no entertainer you are not wearing this this is like one of my king's outfits so you need to change out of that let's change your outfit all right much better okay so that's good okay so yeah as i mentioned we do not have lady Am or princess amira here it looks like king henry's here he's still wearing black looks like queen i feel like queen if king henry's wearing black i feel like queen ava should also wear black so because i feel like they would like she would be out of mourning whenever he's out of mourning out of like just respect in general um so let's go ahead and change her outfit back to her morning outfit and then okay so guys earl philip uh they've been together for a very long time i love him i really want him to propose to Queen Nea? I kind of want to change his outfit styles a little bit too because he's been wearing this stuff for a while so I feel like he's going to change it a little bit more to Oasis Spring style. So let's go ahead and do that. So modifying cast because I am just, I'm so excited for them. I think I am. I think I'm going to have them get engaged. Okay, so I have changed Earl Phillips' outfit. So it's just like slightly Indian inspired. Not really yet. I, I do think I want him, we're actually playing from his point of view now. I think I want him to propose to Queen Nea, which I'm so, so excited to do. I think it's really sweet for him to do it in front of everyone, like, at her birthday party, too. So I think I'm going to do that. So I think I'm going to have her propo him propose kind of in, like, this grand court area over here. And I want kind of everyone to kind of gather here, too. Okay, so I've kind of made everybody gather over here. So I now... Oh, gosh, guys, I'm so, so excited. I just want him to do, like, a few little romantic interactions so they can be both very, very flirty. Okay, guys, so now everyone's, like, somewhat kind of gathered here. So now I'm going to have him propose to her, guys. I'm so, so excited. Oh, God. Okay. 
it's such like a pretty background too. I'm really, really excited for this. Okay, I I was kind of hoping like people would be like around here to watch this. Why does she keep waving at him? What is happening? Okay, um, is something wrong? Oh, no, 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 he's proposing now. I'm missing this. Oh my God, I hope she doesn't keep waving though because that makes me a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable. Oh gosh, guys, I'm so excited that he's doing this in front of her family and everything too. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, oh my gosh, she said yes. And this is super, super exciting. Oh my God, their wedding is gonna be so cute, you guys. Seriously, like I can't even, oh my God. The, the weddings are gonna be so, so different. We do have the Royal Family of Willow Creeks technically to do first, but I definitely want to do the Royal Family of Oasis or the Royal Wedding of Oasis Springs like right after that. Oh my gosh, guys, they are so, so cute. Would you, okay, that, that like record player in the back is bothering me, but oh my gosh, is this cute or what? I am so excited. I'm pretty sure though, the Royal Family of Oasis Springs, their, um, their household's a little bit full. So we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Hopefully we can figure that out. But yay guys, they're engaged. Queen A is engaged to Earl Philip. I'm so, so excited. They're so cute. And he's like one of my favorite sons ever. So, okay. That was her birthday party. What a great birthday, seriously. Like you have like so many people coming to your birthday and then you have, like you get engaged or proposed to as well. So she's now engaged guys. I'm so, so happy. Okay, so last thing I wanted to do is what I promised to do in the middle of this was to check on Lady Harmony for you guys. Cause I know you guys do want to see that. So they are in, Sulani and I took so many screenshots of that proposal. Um, okay, so they are in Sulani. So guys, so now that King Adrian's dead, they were kind of living off of his money. And now that he's gone, they kind of don't have as much money anymore. So I changed Harmony's clothing into something definitely less proper. Lucy honestly is trying to help too. They like, I think they both have like part-time jobs. I think Harmony's part-time job right now. I think it might be like a fisherman or something, like really trying anything to make money. And then we have Charlotte who is, uh, she, she's interesting. She's, so she's hot-headed. Um, and I feel like her mother has probably told her about her father. So things might be a little bit interesting when she grows up to see how that works and if she wants to maybe get some revenge for her mother and because their life did not end up great at all. So that is, is them. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick and tell you their situation because now that King Adrian's dead, they don't have any money. Um, so now they have to make money because they were living off of his money to support. So now we can't anymore. So just wanted to go over that, but I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are super, super excited for Queen Dea to get married because I am so excited. I think in the next episode, we are going to have the royal family of Willow Creek. So I'm so, so excited to do that. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Leave any comments below, any suggestions, because I love seeing your guys' suggestions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!